Fisher. Yeah. Lemon. Yeah. Piper. Yeah. Piper. Yeah. Lily. Lily. Dad. Hey, Lily. Solar on, Dad. What? I think you left the solar on. Solar on? Solar is fine. It's fine. It'll be sunny all day. Freya. Yeah. Piper. Hey, Piper, Leo. Killian. Yeah. Benjamin. Yeah. Austin. Yeah. Gage. Piper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got it, everybody. Hey, oh, baby belly. Hey. Baby belly. Hey. Baby belly. I love you, baby belly. Did you hear? <laughs> Bad girl ship, hot girl ship. What? She said she's a man. Give her attention. She's mad because I won't let her out because she's in her nightgown and I don't want her to get hurt. Have an itty bitty tiny Costco haul. I wasn't going to share this just because of how small it is. We don't need much, and that's why I haven't done any big hauls. Thankfully, but we did need some snacks because a what I thought chipmunk got into our food pantry because I left the door open was actually one of these desert rats. Anyhow, um, this is what we got. It's most of the stuff that we got is on sale. I mentioned it not too long ago, you guys, that I was waiting for Costco's craisins to go on sale. They are on sale, so go get some craisins right now before baking season. They're like four dollars off, so that's like a really good deal. I can't remember the price of them. I think it's like five bucks a bag, which is great. I mean, 64 ounces, it's huge. And I know a lot of people get their craisins from Azure Standard, but honestly, they have like, what is it? Um, the ingredients in this one is just dried craisins, dried cranberries, cane sugar, and cranberries. There we go. Refined sunflower oil is used as processing aid. All the ones on um, Azure, they have um sunflower oil as well now i know some of them don't have cane sugar which is cane sugar is it's a i mean if you can eat sugar cane sugar is good they have like apple juice or something that it's infused with i don't mind this and i definitely don't mind the price so teach his own i'm okay with ocean spray cranberries it's part of the non-gmo project and it's farmer owned so you know i'm good with ocean spray the Boom Chicka Pop, also marked down. Most of the stuff that I got today was marked down. Marked down. I'll see if Chris has the receipt. I'll see if I can find the receipt and show you guys. Now, Chris went to, I'm t I'm, yeah, I've been telling Chris, we need to stay, try to stick with the non-GMO project. Non-GMO project, Chris grabbed these. He's like, well, today these are part of the non-GMO project. These are really good, you guys. They're good, but they're not healthy for you. They have a whole bunch of dyes in it and stuff like that. And, you know what, um, Chris makes the money. He wants to get himself some froggy gummies, whatever. Back to over here, the spreaded organic pumpkin seeds with sea salt, two ingredients, part of the non-GMO project. I thought this was good. Pumpkin seeds are extremely healthy for you. So I went with that. Also, I grabbed these honey roasted peanuts. This is not part of the non-GMO project, but it contains peanuts. So, I mean, it has vegetable oil. I know that's a no-no. And I don't know about any of this other stuff. But that's okay. Peanuts is protein. Pick your poison. I picked honey um, roasted peanuts. 
Also, these for graham crackers, I went with these this time. This is also, are you helping? This is also a part of the non-GMO project, and it was also on Markdown. I grabbed two bags of these. The kids really like graham crackers, and I don't know what they taste like, so I did only grab two. If we like them, I'll go back and I'll grab at least 10 more bags because they're, I think they're like five bucks too. I gotta find their, their seat because I think everything's five bucks a bag. So that was a good deal. I don't know if they taste good yet because we haven't tried them yet. The snack peas, I know um, a lot of people don't do the whole um, vegetable oil and certain oil type of thing, but that's okay we do we do. we don't mind it's not a huge concern for me just yet i don't want to be super anal about things but this is part of the non-gmo project i think it would be a great snack for the kids lightly salted they do like these and they are on markdown so i did grab two bags probiotic apricots as i said pick your poison piper i know arabella is eating a um, piece of I'm trying to get a mosquito on her Oh, you did it. You got it. It was eating her arm. The rain has caused the mosquitoes to come out again. Anyways, um, probiotic apricots, really good. All the kids like this. We eat a lot of fruits like this, dehydrated fruits. This is a good one because it does have probiotic in there. This one does not say anything about being part of the non-GMO project, but not everything is going to be, fortunately. This is good stuff. Then over here, this was not, I think these are $9.99 or nine something a bag. It's gluten-free sprouted root oats. Part of the non-GMO project. This is my favorite oats that um, Costco sells. I used to get these in a ton of them at once. But I only grabbed one because I do want to grab a bag from Azure Standards. And we do have leftover ones from Azure Standards last time that I'm going to be making into chicken food. So we do need to start over and get a fresh batch. And I just grabbed that to get us through, just one bag. And then a bag of oranges. So that was our itty bitty tiny little Costco haul. Let me see if I can find the receipt for you guys. Oh, look at that, it's right on top of his wallet. So let's see what we're working with. Let's check out these prices. <clears throat> The total was a hundred and seventy-four forty-seven. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Oh, we got a bag of dog food. We've been getting dog food at the local-ish town. We go to the bigger-ish town in um, Vernal. There's a feed store out there that we love the dog food. It's actually putting weight on Elka. Out there, so, but we did need a bag to get us through until we went out there on Wednesday. So the oranges were $9.99. The pumpkin seeds was $9.99. The, I don't know what that is. What is that? Nuts. Oh, those are the peanuts. $6.99. Hot chocolate. We did get hot chocolate. I didn't show that because I used that this morning. $10.99. The bananas were $1.49. We ate those up on the way home. Oh, we did get a watermelon too. Look at that. $6.99. The apricots were $10.99. The gummies were $8.59. The confetti, horrible rice crispy treats that daddy picked. He said they were for the kids. My butt, $9.99. Lemon cakes. Oh, see, look at all. It's a good thing I'm showing you guys your receipts. I forgot some of this stuff. We got lemon cupcakes. Very good, $8.99. The cranberries were $9.99 a bag. Take away $4. So they were like five bucks. That's what I'm telling you guys. Go get your cranberries because it's going to be good for baking season. And to just have it snacks and warm oatmeal breakfast. Put it in your oatmeal. Good. Good deal. Wait. The Rice Krispie Treats are $13.99. What the crap was this up here then? Confetti. Oh, those are the cookies I got for the kids from the bakery. The kids got confetti cookies. And then me and Chris got lemon cupcakes. And then these were the... $13.99 for that box of Rice Krispie Treats. See, I wouldn't have got that. Chris is crazy. Oh, wait. They're on Markdown. So, okay, that makes it a little bit better. And then the Cranberries, the Boom Chicka Pop. Let's see. Where's that? The Boom Chicka Pop, $6.29. Take away $2. So, that's like $4 a bag. The Harvest Snacks were like $5 a bag. That, those big old bags. That's why I was trying to get everything that was marked on Markdown. 
and then those graham cracker things were six or nine sixty nine take away two eighty so nine eight like seven bucks a bag or something like that I don't know um six dollars a bag I don't know I'm not doing the math right now it's too early I, I just don't care and then the harvest snacks wait a minute sweet thins okay yeah these were the graham crackers and then the harvest oh those are more snap peas the organic oats were $9.39 that made a grand total of $168 plus horrible tax makes it $174 anyways I thought that was a good deal good deal on the craisins good deal on the boom chicka pop good deal on the snack peas good deal on those all freaking part of the non-gmo project don't don't do that that was Chris pumpkin seeds are extremely healthy for you yeah so in my opinion, Costco's got a good, a lot of good sales, and if you don't have a lot of money right now, at least um, try to budget in just a little bit. You, that's so much more you can get from the grocery store for five bucks than you can get a little box at the grocery store. Same with the popcorn. You can get so much more in bulk going to Costco and just buying um, what's on coupon only. Stick to only buying what's on coupon. I call the markdowns the sales coupon. And that's how you're going to get the most for your money at Costco. Sticking to what is on freaking Markdown. <laughs> I know this doesn't look like a lot of money. But we're missing two things from the bakery. We're missing the watermelon and the dog food, which is $20. So, I think it was a really good deal. Especially in this economy for $174. You just gotta, gotta watch what you buy and try to budget in. I heard that there's a lot more going up in price. Oranges being one. Um... Tomatoes being one, tomato sauce being another, rice, flour, oats even, all going up in price because of um, the weather and the cost of gas. Farmers are having trouble troubles doing their thing because of the cost of fuel. Anyways, I don't know. I was just watching a little um, documentary thing on YouTube. Another YouTuber talking about the cost of what's possibly going up. So, yeah, that's a little heads up for you guys. There's, there's little videos if you want to try to stock up on what you can, what you can afford. I know money's tight and hard, but, yeah, if we just share what's what's going on and what's on sale, that'd be it's good for... That's a positive thing about YouTube, right? Anyways, I hope you guys have the rest of your good day. Good day. I hope you guys have... The rest of your day turns out good. I can't talk. I need my coffee.